Oh my god, I need to stop. I must, I must be stopped. It is that time again. Happy Monday morning. It is time for another cup of joe. Here we are, ready to discuss life's biggest problems. So, I started this series, um, is my camera crooked? It's quite possible. I'm very sorry if that's the case, but you guys know me. Like, I, I just put up the camera and do, like, look at the back of my room right now. It's disgusting. So, a few weeks ago, or months ago at this point, I started this new series on my channel called Cup of Joe, where every Monday morning, but really it's Saturday morning because I don't have time to film this on Monday mornings, but I upload them on Monday mornings. I sit down and talk to you guys about what was supposed to be. I sit down and talk to you guys about like updates in my life, what's going on, but you guys have started requesting like things that you want me to talk about. So this series has kind of morphed from like talking about just random updates and TV shows and random things that I like to now talking about different topics that, you know, you might discuss with your best friend over a cup of coffee in the morning. Who knows? Okay, so actually someone sent in this request for a topic and I thought it was the best topic ever to talk about and it's should I join Greek life like after going through all of my time in a sorority in college I was in a sorority for four years um, all, all of my time throughout college would I go back now and do it again and I just thought this was such a great topic to talk about and something I haven't talked about on my channel for a really long time but I know a lot of you actually came and found my channel through a lot of my sorority videos because I did an entire video like three years ago I look like a completely different human talking about how to get into a sorority and like my entire rush process so I think it's really interesting now as a almost 24 year old I'm turning 24 on May 26th it's now May 4th so like we're getting there. Thinking, looking back on it now and deciding if I would actually go back and join it again. And this is actually something that me and my friends talk about a lot, but there are a lot of opinions about this and I am excited to talk about them with you guys. And maybe, I know a lot of you guys actually rushed at the same time as me or rushed like a few years after, so you guys probably graduated as well. So I'd love to know down in the comments like what your opinion is on this because I don't have a strong opinion, but I definitely have opinions about Greek life and this is not in any way about my sorority in particular. I loved my time at my sorority. It was legitimately my my grounding and my everything my first two years of college and it really helped shape who I am. Um, not because of like not because of like the rules set in place, like what the sorority taught me, but it helped me realize like what I look for in friendships, what I don't want in friendships, like what I find important in life, what I don't. Like just putting yourself in those different situations, whatever it may be, helps you kind of like discover who you are. So I don't regret being in a sorority absolutely at all. I think it was a good choice for me at the time and I wouldn't have picked another sorority. I met all of my best friends in college, at least for the first two to three years because of my sorority and all in all, it was a good experience. I was on my sorority's like e-board, like executive board. It also led me to a lot of amazing connections and I think that those are really great reasons to join a sorority for like leadership opportunities and for networking, which is really great. Like if you meet someone who's in your sorority and like they'll always like connect you and help you and kind of help you after graduation as well. So yeah, but after graduation and especially my senior year, I wouldn't say I kind of fell off the sorority bandwagon. Like I lived in the house and I was still friends and like involved in my sorority, but I just kind of like stopped caring. Like there are a lot of rules when you're in a sorority that I personally don't think as a 20 year old 21 year old woman you should have to follow basically my junior through beginning of senior year I went abroad in college for one full year my second semester junior year I went to London so that was my like Europe abroad and then this wasn't technically abroad but I went to LA for my first semester senior year and my first semester senior year was when I was really just kind of pulled out of the sorority world because I was with a very small group of people from my school, two of which were my best friends and sorority sisters, Bess and Lauren. I feel like you guys have seen them on my Instagram or on my channel before, but I was with them and we lived together and that was really fun. But then we became friends with all of these people who were in different majors and not in Greek life, people that I had never interacted with before because I was fully enclosed in my Greek life bubble. And these people 
are people that I'm still best friends with to this day. People I hang out with and talk to every single day and I never would have met them if I didn't take myself out of the Greek life bubble for a semester. Then I went back to college. My second semester senior year, I was back on campus and all of my friends who weren't in Greek life were doing all these incredible things, going to all these places on campus that I had never heard of or seen or done before, going to new restaurants, going to new bars and like artistic spaces where they would like perform shows and like do all this cool stuff. And I was like, what the F have I been missing? Like, this is so cool. They lived like a completely different life on campus that I had never seen. And I felt like really jealous. I was like, I wish I had been a part of this throughout my entire time of college. So I think that's the biggest thing when it comes to Greek life is that it's just super like closed off. That's my biggest thing is that's the only reason I would say I regret it. And maybe this is just a personal thing that I did, but I wish I had stepped out of my sororities bubble a little bit. And <clears throat> throughout my entire college experience really took in the campus for what it was because when I was a freshman and a sophomore I thought the only way to have fun the only way to have a social life was through Greek life because that's what people told me so that's why I joined and I think in the beginning it was really good to have that because it gave me like a home base it gave me a grounding it gave me somewhere to like know that I always could go if I wanted to go it gave me a place where I knew I always belonged but at the same time, once I started to get to know these other people and realize what the rest of the campus was offering, I was like, this is so much cooler than going to a frat party. My general opinion is sure, it's great. It's it's fun, it's a good, it's a good ground grounding thing. It's a good place to start. But if you are a freshman going into a sorority or like thinking about rushing, my biggest advice is like, be open to other people. Talk to people in your classes. Make friends with people who are doing things on campus that you are interested in. Like I feel like I missed an entire group of amazing, interesting people because I was just like so invested in the sorority life. I know that a lot of sororities like in the South and stuff, like that's it. Like that really truly is it um, in terms of social life. But I feel like that is a completely different realm of sorority and Greek life than I was a part of. So I can't really speak to that. My college was probably like 25%, 16% Greek life or something like that. I really don't know, but it wasn't like, it really wasn't everything. It kind of seemed that way when I was a freshman, but it really wasn't. But I do know there are some schools where it is that way. So if you do go to one of those schools or like you are from the South and sororities and fraternities are like the biggest, greatest, most important thing, I really wanna hear about that in the comments and like let me know your experience. This was just mine. Like I said, I went to a school, I went to Syracuse, I went to a school in upstate New York. It was not that way. It was definitely prevalent and it was there, but it wasn't like the end all be all of socialness. So yeah, that's just my experience, my opinion. Should you join a sorority? go for it. Just make sure to not close the rest of the world off once you're in because you really never know who you could miss and it could be your future husband or your new best friend or someone who gets you your first job or someone who like teaches you a lesson that changes your life. So I would just really say do it but make sure that you also put yourself in a situation where you can be friends with like everyone on campus. That is it for today's cup of joe. I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next one, which will be next Monday. I love you guys and I will see you then. Oh, also follow me on Instagram, subscribe to my channel. It would mean so much to me and like this video because I think, I think when you like, it helps the videos like get into the algorithm. So if you want other people to find my videos, give it a like so that like we can all talk about how much we love our authorities in the comments, okay? That's it. Love you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>